What started as a small barbecue restaurant has now become one of the most popular fast food chains in the world. From its humble beginnings to its global empire today, McDonald's has come a long way. While the future of the company is uncertain, there's no doubt that it has had significant impact on American culture and the food industry. The Beginning of McDonald's The restaurant that would eventually become McDonald's was started in 1940 by brothers Dick and Mac McDonald in San Bernardino, California. Dick and Mac McDonald relocated to California in search of prospects they believed to be inaccessible in New England. They were unsuccessful in the movie industry, but later succeeded in running drive-in eateries. They took a chance in 1948 by decluttering their business and launching their speedy service system with 15-cent hamburgers. Due to the restaurant's popularity, the brothers started franchising their idea, with nine of those locations becoming functional eateries. Dick and Mac McDonald developed their speedy service system in San Bernardino, where they offered a small selection of items, including hamburgers, shakes, and fries for 15 cents each. In addition to their first restaurant in San Bernardino, the brothers sold 14 franchises, of which 10 became operational restaurants. The duo had originally opened a hot dog stand before switching to burgers in 1948. It wasn't until 1955 that they franchised their business with the help of Ray Kroc. Kroc saw the potentials in the brothers' restaurant and helped them open new locations and grow their business. By 1961, there were over 200 McDonald's restaurants across the United States. The company has continued to grow ever since, becoming one of the most well-known fast food chains in the world. The Rise of McDonald's In the early 1940s, brothers Dick and Mac McDonald opened a drive-in restaurant in San Bernardino, California. The restaurant became an immediate success thanks to its innovative menu and speedy service. In 1948, the brothers introduced the speedy service system, which cut down on wait times for customers. This system would later become the basis for McDonald's fast food. In 1955, Ray Kroc visited the McDonald's brothers to inquire about franchising their restaurant. He was so impressed with their operation that he decided to open his own McDonald's restaurant. The first McDonald's franchise opened in De Plains, Illinois in 1955. Kroc continued to expand the McDonald's chain across the United States and eventually worldwide. By 1967, there were over 1,000 McDonald's restaurants in operation. Today, McDonald's is one of the most recognizable brands in the world with over 37,000 restaurants in more than 100 countries. As the years passed and the chain grew, the McDonald's menu expanded. Today, it includes staples such as Chicken McNuggets, a variety of coffees, and of course, breakfast sandwiches and hash browns. But a McDonald's menu typically doesn't go from a great idea to the grill overnight. McDonald's menu team works with franchisees and customers to test prospective menu ideas. According to Eat This, Not That. But that's only after the items have been through a rigorous development process at headquarters that involves seeing the initial ideas run through chefs, food scientists, and nutritionists as described in a 2016 article in the Chicago Tribune. The filet fish sandwich was added to the menu in 1965, followed by the Big Mac, 1965, Quarter Pounder and Quarter Pounder with Cheese, 1973, Egg McMuffin, 1975, and Chicken McNuggets, 1983. The McFlurry dessert came along in 1994, but its debut was limited to restaurants in Canada. The McDonald's menu grew as the years went by and the chain flourished. The standard fare now includes items like Chicken McNuggets, a selection of coffees, and of course, breakfast sandwiches and hash browns. However, a fantastic idea rarely becomes a dish on the McDonald's menu in a single night. Eat This Not That claims that the McDonald's menu team tests potential menu items with franchisees and patrons. However, it doesn't happen until the products have gone through a rigorous development process at the corporate level that involves having the initial ideas run by chefs, food scientists, and nutritionists, as detailed in a 2016 Chicago Tribune story. Following the Big Mac, 1965, and the Quarter Pounder and Quarter Pounder with Cheese, 1965, the filet fish sandwich was added to the menu. Criticism 
Every year, McDonald's spends more than $1.8 billion on advertising and promotions in an effort to project the image of a fun place to eat that's also a caring and green firm. Toys and other gimmicks are used to entice kids, who then drag their parents behind them. However, Ronald McDonald's smile belies the truth. Like other global corporations, McDonald's primary concern is making money from anybody and everything. In their annual reports, McDonald's talks about achieving global domination. But as they establish more and more locations throughout the world, local communities are being undermined by the increased homogeneity and lack of variety brought about by their global development. Serving ill-equipped food In 1991, McDonald's was to blame for a food poisoning outbreak in the UK that left several patients with severe kidney failure. Other diseases, connected to chemical residues or unnatural practices, have become more prevalent with modern intensive farming techniques. Low pay for the staff Low pay is common in the fast food industry. Even when employees put in extremely long hours, McDonald's does not pay overtime rates. Staff must work longer and harder under pressure to maintain. Unhealthy environment Multinational corporations are destroying forests, which are essential to all life, at an alarming rate all around the planet. McDonald's has now been compelled to acknowledge using beef raised on former forest land, hindering the recovery of that area. Additionally, the usage of farmland by multinational corporations and their suppliers forces locals to leave their communities and clear more trees. In the entire world, McDonald's consumes the most beef. A significant source of the methane released into the atmosphere by cattle raised for the beef business is the global warming crisis. The foundation of contemporary intensive agriculture is the extensive use of environmentally harmful chemicals. McDonald's uses thousands of tons of superfluous packaging annually, the majority of which ends up as trash on the ground in our streets. These, among others, are the issues they've been known to cause over the years. Adapting to Technology At 81 years old when he passed away in 1984, Kroc would definitely have appreciated how the pandemic and current technologies had changed the restaurant industry. McDonald's describes on its website how it's doubling down on the three Ds, digital, delivery, and drive through According to the business, it's still developing its digital platform to offer more personal, more convenient, and better experiences for our customers including mobile ordering and rewards. McDonald's also claims that it would incorporate delivery into its mobile app and speed up the drive through process with technology. McDonald's Today Today, McDonald's is one of the most popular fast food chains in the world. It seems like there's a McDonald's on every corner, and their food is ubiquitous. McDonald's Today is a far cry from the McDonald's of the 1950s, the company has undergone many changes in the intervening years, responding to shifting consumer tastes and preferences. Today, McDonald's is one of the most recognizable brands in the world, with more than 36,000 locations in over 100 countries. In recent years, McDonald's has been working hard to improve its image and menu offerings. In 2008, the company launched its Favorites Under 400 Calories initiative, offering healthier options for customers looking for a quick meal. In 2012, McDonald's committed to sourcing only cage-free eggs by 2025. And in 2015, the chain debuted its first ever Create Your Own Burger platform, allowing customers to choose from a variety of toppings and sauces to create their perfect burger. As consumer tastes continue to evolve, McDonald's will no doubt continue to adapt, ensuring that it remains a relevant and beloved part of American culture for years to come. The Future of McDonald's at the end of last year, however, McDonald's quietly revealed a more progressive direction for its future. It's not one that uses technology to eliminate humans. Instead, it seeks to save them via IT equipment, washing machines, and dishwashers. In the relatively quiet town of Market Drayton, England, McDonald's opened what it calls the UK's first net-zero carbon restaurant. Perhaps you don't think this carbon obsession is merited. Perhaps you think climate change talk is all political hooey. Perhaps you think the earth always writes itself one way or the other. McDonald's doesn't seem to agree with you. It wants all of its restaurants to achieve net zero emissions. Next stop, all its cows. The future of McDonald's is shrouded in uncertainty. 
The company has been struggling in recent years, and many experts have predicted its demise. However, McDonald's remains a powerful brand, and it still has a large customer base. Only time will tell what the future holds for this iconic company. Now you know about the history of the famous McDonald's. What do you think? Tell us in the comments section.